I love a good math trick. Always have, always will. This one's about solving quadratics. You know that part where you're hunting for two numbers that multiply and add just right? Well, there's a faster way. Let me show you. Take x squared minus 14x minus 392 equals zero. With the usual method, you try to find two numbers that multiply to negative 392 and add up to negative 14. Now, good luck trying to do that in your head. But Dr. Po Shen Lo, he found a better way. This time, you start with the sum and not the product. In his method, you look for two numbers that add up to the negative of the B term. Here, that's the negative of negative 14, so positive 14. Let's try a few numbers. 13 and 1, 11 and 3, 9 and 5, 8 and 6. What do they have in common? That's right. They're all centered around 7, the average. One a bit bigger, one a bit smaller. So let's call those numbers 7 plus Z and 7 minus Z. Now these numbers also need to multiply to negative 392. So 7 plus Z times 7 minus Z equals negative 392. Now wait, before you expand, notice that this is a difference of squares. So you can actually jump straight to 49 minus Z squared equals negative 392. So now we solve for Z. Z is equal to plus or minus 21. That means our numbers are 28 and negative 14. And if you don't believe me, we can check it in Maple Learn. Told ya. Bye-bye guessing and hello, some average in symmetry.